Today I will show you a roadmap which will set you apart from other beginners in cybersecurity space. This roadmap consists of 8 key steps to gain knowledge and skills which you can later present on your CV to secure your very first job in cybersecurity. This video will be just an overview as this is a complex topic but you can find in-depth guide with free resources on my Discord channel. And if you prefer video content, I have also 5 hour long course on Udemy with practical hands-on labs which you can include on your CV and gain significant advantage when applying for your very first cybersecurity job. In those labs you will for example create honeypot in the cloud environment or set up your very own security tool to detect threats with artificial intelligence. Cybersecurity projects are the most important step on my list, number 7. But let's start at the beginning with step number 1, which is foundational knowledge. This includes basic knowledge about operating systems, VMs and other technology. Ideally, you already have skills related to these steps from working in IT. And if not, I would highly recommend you to start your journey with some entry-level IT job. That could be working at help desk or as IT technician for example. It's always better to gain your skills and knowledge from real world experience, especially if you're just getting started. And if you have trouble getting your first IT job, don't worry. Certifications are a great way to demonstrate a potential employer that you have the foundational knowledge and what it takes to be successful at the position. Look into certification like CompTIA A for basic IT skills and knowledge and then progress to CompTIA Network Plus for networking fundamentals, which brings us to the next step on the list. Networking is essential in cybersecurity. To make sure to deeply understand concepts such as OSI model or LAN, you also need to understand how packet travels on the network and the difference between public and private IP address. There is much more when it comes to networking, so make sure to know everything included on this list. Okay, let's move to the step number three, Linux operating system. A vast majority of cloud infrastructure and web servers run on Linux. If you can secure this system against threats, then you can really help the companies who may want to hire you to defend their assets. Linux is open source and you will find plenty of cybersecurity related tools there. So I would highly recommend you to spend some time learning it. You should learn fundamental commands such as CD, LS, DP and others. There are tons of them. Also, understanding file structure, permission and logs is also very important. At this stage, you don't really need a certification. Practically working with Linux operating system or perhaps creating some cybersecurity related project will be more than sufficient enough. In case you are interested in certification, CompTIA Linux Plus is your best bet. Moving on to the step number four is security. It shouldn't be shocking that you need to learn security if you're trying to break into cyber. The reason why it's fourth on the list is simple. You would have hard time understanding a lot of concepts without previous knowledge. For example, you won't understand man in the middle attack without networking fundamentals. There is a lot you need to understand when it comes to security. That's why I love following CompTIA Security Plus exam objectives. If you are just getting started, I also think it's highly beneficial to get this cybersecurity certification. If you can, make sure you have solid understanding of these topics, covering different aspects of cybersecurity space. After that, you can move to the next two steps, programming and cloud. I don't think they are absolutely essential for you to enter cybersecurity. Although they will be highly beneficial, many companies with dedicated security teams will have some infrastructure in the cloud, and this knowledge can help you secure organization assets and with programming, you will gain the ability to write scripts, especially in languages like Python, and potentially automate routine tasks. Personally, I wouldn't spend hours or days learning programming skill. Although I'm very proficient with Python, and I also know the PowerShell, I wouldn't recommend this to you. Honestly, I would spend my time and energy instead building cybersecurity related project, because this is a great opportunity for you to demonstrate your practical hands-on skills and your knowledge in cybersecurity space. These projects can be later highlighted on your CV, setting you apart from other candidates. You will find plenty ideas for cybersecurity related projects. For example, on my YouTube channel, we have set up cloud-based SIM solution 
to detect and investigate cybersecurity threats. I also have dedicated course on Udemy, covering five different cybersecurity projects with exemplary CV. And once you have an exceptional CV, it's time to move to the final step, where you will present your skills and connect with other cybersecurity professionals to get noticed by recruiters. I would highly recommend you to create a LinkedIn profile and be very active on this platform until you will find your very first cybersecurity job. You should document your project that you have built and present them to the cybersecurity community. Engage with people and try to help others inside the community. By talking and connecting with other professionals, you will increase your chances of landing your very first cybersecurity job. I know it's not easy task to enter cybersecurity. I've been there. I didn't have any college degree or any certification related to cybersecurity. And yet I was able to enter the cybersecurity space, a security analyst working for Verizon. It's possible, but you need to focus on the right stuff. Knowledge, skill, project, and connecting with the right people. Actually, you can start right now by connecting with me on LinkedIn and joining our Discord channel and also subscribing to my YouTube channel for more content about cybersecurity in the future. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.